guys welcome back to a brand new disney heroes battle mode video and this is quite an exciting one because i've got a brand new, well not a brand new but i've got another character to bring up to a yellow one now i've got dash here and he's ready to go to yellow one and i haven't really leveled up many characters past yellow zero or just yellow so i'm quite curious to see because i can't really remember if it's a big jump in power or not and again guys i know i remind you to do this every single video make sure you get these missions done in here they're so easy and you're just going to get loads of shards every day now i've got 245 at the moment now yes i haven't done any of these but of course i was waiting i'm going to be waiting to do a nice chunky video on these so anyway let's continue so all my trials at the moment i've absolutely smashed on the hardest mode which is brilliant and you can see we've got to rank 52 guys look at all and everything we've got mad we've all done very very well here that's really all i can ask for our guild has smashed it we get 160 diamond crates as well which is nice so that being done we are i'm just smashing through basically as soon as they do an update these days i can instantly jump straight up to the next level and that's obviously the absolutely brilliant thing. I can always make sure that I'm on the top and getting as much as I can at every given moment. Let's make sure I put all my best merch nose on now. I've upgraded, done loads of different upgrades. Yeah, good old dash in there as well. Look at that. Those are some dope merch nose there. Anyway, so let's get back to what I was doing and we want to upgrade dash. So I get him up to yellow one. And obviously I'm still slowly and painfully, as you guys know how painful it is to level characters up on this, still slowly and painfully just grinding my way. So I get two more levels up there for Pleakley today. Puts this little beautiful wig on. And we've got Pleakley to Orange 6 now. Nothing extremely exciting, but you know, we're, we're starting slowly on getting these characters upgraded, which is all we can do. Oh, I need to level them up a bit more. Because, again, you guys know I'm trying to get my um, damage per second team up. And, obviously, Pleakley's bees. Sends a swarm of skios at enemies dealing damage to all enemies and bones over time. So, that's kind of like... It's like a reverse Winnie the Pooh. Where, instead of when the, bee, the mosquitoes are on them, it adds up. This is just... As the mosquitoes are on them, it does damage over time and not stacks for the next bees. So it's kind of cool that it's kind of like an awesome version of Winnie the Pooh. So I will level them up slowly, guys. But I'm going to wait to do this um, when they have like a, a spend gold contest or something along those lines. Because I'm not in a rush to use them at the moment. So I might as well try and save that and be a bit logical about it. I've got loads of spare shards for him as well, which is going to be nice when I eventually do get to doing his mods. And now if I just pick up the last... Um... Uh, who do I need to get some shards for? Ian, I always need something for Ian Raid that. That's going to do my last mission here. And now I've completed every quest again. There we go. So what, within three, four minutes? It literally takes about five minutes to do all of these every day. So unless you guys, when you need to go to the loo, sit on the loo, crack this open and just run through all those quests. And then we can do this thing here. And I have heard, I have heard good things about this um, chest. I've heard that most people have been able to get leader up to like three or four stars. So I'm, I'm excited to jump through and give it a go. I'm excited to give it a go. Anyway, yeah, so... You can see that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd forgotten about this thing. Completely forgotten about this. I, these used to be so good back in the day, these offers. But anyway, that's not what we're going to get into. So that's all good. Great. Okay, so... Oh, I'm so close to getting to the big one on there. I'll be able to do that by Monday, which will be lovely. Okay. So now let's get Dash upgraded to yellow one and see if it's, again, like I said, I don't feel like it's going to be a very big jump. 
that's going to use 100 of his shards. I need I need 50 spare. Yeah, let's let's use 100 of his shards here, guys. Sixteen levels on that, bang. Level twenty six, basic damage armor. Yeah, nice, nice little buff there. Obviously, again, I want to save up hundred of his shards, so I might just pick it up a few more times, and that leaves a hundred ready for when I work on his mods. But that's close enough; I can easily get another one. So yeah, that's got dash up quite a nice on his skills there. Um, his friendship disc, I believe. Ah, we can max out now as well. So we've maxed out his friendship disc to 375 damage to more shielded enemies. Now I have a fantastic counter for Slinky, which is one of the main reasons I worked on Dash. So that's brilliant. Obviously, that'd be quite nice to level up. I need to upgrade Violet a little bit. But for now, we have Dash on a fantastic level. No complaints for him there. And we can get him up to yellow one as well. Boom. So, his max HP has gone up by about 10 million, which is quite nice. His basic damage has gone up by about 10,000, which is good. His skill power has gone up by about 16,000. And his overall power has gone up by about 400,000, which is really pretty nice. So, again here, fantastic character. Fantastic skill level, and I fully recommend Dash. Now, yes, you could say that Gogo is a better version of Dash, but I really do like his shield abilities where you can just smash through shields. Has that moved? Oh, that has moved Dash above Animal now, so he's doing well. Still, no one's close to the god, Ducky and Bunny. Nobody will ever come close to overtaking the god. So, there we go. And we've got Ducking Bunny still in the lead, and he always will be in the lead. So now I can use the rest of my stamina to continue my little spree on Pleakly. It's quite a nice, it was quite a nice little upgrade to Dash, actually. Um, I don't think I did Invasion. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So we got to tier 30. I, I want an inv Yes! I was going to say, I want an invasion that has um, dash boosted up. Yeah, that's just going to melt everybody now. If, if I can get a lot of fire on dash, and then he does that move where he like, punches him like six times, you just see the health disappear. It, it, it's not right. So I was going to say, I don't particularly need to worry about any of these battles, guys. I just, I do wish that there was a there was a bigger auto button here. I know I kind of always tip through these on on the end of um, my videos on Thursdays, but I just wish there was a nice juicy auto button that we could press to fly through all of this. It it would be the, it would be the greatest thing. It would be the greatest thing I could ask for. Just speeding that up just a little bit. There we go, great. So it's it's not difficult, the invasion guys. Normally I get to about 300. Normally I get to about 300, then I get bored of just constantly mashing the raid button. So it's kind of one of those things that just sits there on you until you can't physically keep pressing two buttons any longer. But it is it is worth doing because you can take some really good stuff away from the invasion. So that's good to kind of take note that you want to try and at least try and get to tier 30 every day in the invasion guys because there are some really cool stuff that you can you can take away but yeah um anyway guys i do hope you have enjoyed today's video i, I love my favorite type of videos are just getting the characters leveled up because i know you all like to see that one sort of closer towards the end tier in the game now i, I i'm relaxing on level car leveling characters up past yellow one really um, number one, because I want to get more cars up to yellow, and I just, it's getting ridiculously hard now to level cars up, especially because I'm trying to bring up a certain team, if you see what I mean. 
So I'm really having that big struggle. Big, 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 big struggle to bring characters up to where they need to be. Because, you know, yellow four and there's like 70 characters in the game now. And it it's a little bit crazy. And I'm just kind of hoping that soon they add, make it a bit easier to get badges or add a way to help some of those people who are towards the end game, especially if they're on a good VIP level as well, to really bring characters all up to the same level a bit easier. Because I know they added the ability where you could get everyone's skills up to like level 30 for free. Pretty pointless if you don't mind me saying. So I'm just hoping that they do something like that again, but really, really push on that ease of trying to bring more characters all up to a certain level that's what i'd really like to see but anyway guys thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you legends in the next one